Good day, folks. This is the best day. I'm telling you what. I mean, this is in another issue of it couldn't happen to a nicer person. Charlize Bird, Democrat representative, has formally introduced articles of impeachment against Fannie Willis. This is so absolutely awesome. I mean, can you imagine how stupid Jenna Ellis has to feel right now? That's right. Remember Jenna? If I'd only known then, then what I know now. Yeah, she took that plea deal that was absolute crap, okay? And now they're attacking her in Colorado and trying to disbar her, I do believe. That's what's going on. I see on there Michelle from Duluth. I see Biloxi, Mississippi on. I see Tracy from Tennessee. Please do smash that like and chat in with where you're from. But this is so awesome because like, and I mean, even Sydney Powell, and I can understand Sydney's plea deal a little bit more, but then Jenna Ellis, she took that plea deal and Fanny's going to get impeached. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, and this is on top of all the other things we found out about Fannie Willis lately, where her whole case is coming unglued and coming apart. Guys, if you didn't see my Fannie Willis video from earlier today, you need to watch it. Just go to my channel and go to the videos. It's uh, the last upload. It's under political podcast or one of the last video uploads. But in Georgia yesterday, the citizens came out against Fannie Willis in the Fulton County meeting and the commissioners were there and they were all talking about investigating it. And you know that that gal is so ridiculous and this is why you need to go see that video. The woman asked, I mean, a commissioner, I mean, she's a commissioner. She's responsible for the budgets of Fulton County and everything. And she said to Fanny, she's like, hey, Fanny, uh, you, you know, because she went and met with her. She said, Fanny, what, uh, how much is this going to cost us? How much is it going to cost the taxpayers? And she said, Lady Justice has no price that's too high or something to that effect. But look, I mean, this is big, people. I mean... The real RICO charge is Fannie Willis, okay? And do you know what's really funny? So I found this, actually, my my friend, one of my mods, Hippie Dippy Cali Girl, Jace, she sent me the, the piece over Twitter that said that Fannie Willis was the Articles of Impeachment. So I looked it up, and I can't remember which publication. It's one of the lefty publications, but I was reading it, and they did run the headline, The Week Just Got Worse for Fannie Willis, which it does because on top of all these other things. But you know what's really interesting? Because of all the things that went on with Nathan Wade there and how she basically was uh, pilfering money, laundering money through Fulton County to give to her lover, okay, her good friend, as she said in the church. And then they said that they're just allegations. This is what the left-wing source said, that these were just allegations. Fanny admitted to it. She went in front of the church and talked about how she wasn't perfect and, you know, she needed forgiveness for her sins and for her mistakes. She just called them mistakes, you know, like there's just this little discrepancy. No, she's taking taxpayer money to fund her trysts with her boyfriend. Okay, and now she's going to get impeached. It's it's happening in Georgia right now. Please smash that like if you would. I always mention my sponsor, Midas Gold. So just give me a sec. Midas Gold Group, MidasGoldGroup.com. Text Lumberjack to 232425. Anyways, Midas Gold Group, they're great. Okay, you are talking to veteran owners. I buy my gold, silver directly from the owners at Midas Gold. It's awesome. So anyways, but... Um, Hey, I'll post 376GS. So this is big news. And it's, I, I just, I still go back to these people who took the plea deals. And then I think of Harrison Floyd, the black individual, because Fannie Willis is always complaining about race baiting and all this stuff. And he didn't take the plea deal and he's willing to go to the wall. And Harrison Floyd's not only going to get off, but evidence right now, people just in the Georgia courts, that was, it was yesterday, wasn't it? Where they had the, I mean, you've got the the case going on. Oh, come on, help me out. What's the name of the case? Not Totenberg's case, the other one. Curling v. Raffensperger. Uh, Curling v. Ra Raffensperger down there where they literally hacked a machine with a pen and then actually changed the totals. 
And so all this is going to be coming out. This is going to be the new part of discovery in this case. And just yesterday too, this is in the previous video and you can see the court. I mean, you got to go watch that video I did on Fannie Willis earlier today because you can actually see in the courtroom where the attorneys did not want to admit the full story. And the judge found out that there were two letters, two communications from the Biden White House to them. And the attorneys were trying to play it off like they weren't important. First, he tried to convince the judge that there was only one letter. And then the judge had to drill down and ask the questions further. And Fannie's attorney admitted that there were two letters. We've got the logs from the White House. We've got the missing J6 um from the J6 committee on the hard drive that was scrubbed, all those files. So all this is completely changing the narrative on this, folks. So I got to get to the gym, but I just got the news and I had to let you know, articles of impeachment formally filed against Fannie Willis. It's big news. It's it's great news. It's the greatest news. So I love y'all. Keep fighting the good fight. I tell you, we are going to win this one. And down in Texas too, with what's going on down there, Greg Abbott is standing strong. You know, yeah, seven hundred thousand dollars. You know, to a guy who's who doesn't even have experience. He's like Hunter Biden, zero experience. Hunter, zero experience. Nathan Wade. All right, I love y'all. Peace out.